Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be doing my very first review and it is on the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes Mascara. Now this mascara just launched at the beginning of the month, the beginning of May. It claims to give you a lot of length, a lot of volume, and not only that, but it has ingredients that also are supposed to strengthen and nourish your lashes and are supposed to help them grow. So this mascara retails for 32 US dollars and you can purchase it on at beautylish.com, on um, nordstrom.com, on charlottetilbury.com, and I believe I also saw ebay.com is $32 across the board. That's excluding taxes or shipping and handling or anything like that. So it is on the pricier side, but for what it claims to do, I am hopeful that it's worth it. So we'll see. It comes in this cool gold tube. So this is what the wand looks like. And I did read that the bristles are different sizes for a reason. And that reason is so that it does catch and coat every single lash regardless of the length of the lash. The mascara only comes in carbon black. And this is to give you a standout lash, an extreme standout lash, and to give you more color intensity so that your lashes look fuller and they look thicker. The black is supposed to do that and that is why it only comes in black. It also has a special blend of waxes to give the formula some elasticity and that way it can build and glide and give you like false lash length. It also has tamanu oil, which is like a beauty leaf oil that is supposed to help nourish and strengthen your lash. And it has marine glycogen, which that is what is supposed to help stimulate the hair growth on the lashes. It's supposed to feed the follicles and that is what is going to cause the hair growth because it feeds them during the most active period of the day. So I don't know how that works too scientific for me. I have no idea whether or not it's really going to help lengthen my lashes and help grow them and nourish them and strengthen them but we shall see. I'm going to go ahead and apply a full face of makeup off camera and then of course come back and apply the mascara on camera to see how it applies and how well it builds. Okay, so now I'm back with a full face of makeup except for the lashes. So I read a little bit through the website earlier and it does claim that it takes three coats in order to get the perfect lash or your perfect lash. They have three different techniques in order to achieve three different lash looks. They have the wing lash technique, which elongates the eyes. They have the doll lash technique, which opens up the eyes. And they have the false lash technique, which intensifies and frames the eyes. I personally like false lashes, so I'm going to be doing the false lash technique, which pretty much just states that you have to place the wand on the base of the lash and then just zigzag your way up. Um, that is typically what I do anyway, and so that is what I'm going to do three times over to see if I can get that false lash look. So I'm going to just do the right eye. I'm not going to do the left eye, so both you and I can really see the difference. We're just taking the wand out one time and applying it at the base and then zigzagging up. So this is just with one coat of mascara. So it definitely added volume without clumping. It definitely added length without clumping as well. I can see that at the base of the lash, it really intensified the darkness, <laughs> making my lashes appear fuller. So, so far I'm really digging it and this is just after one coat. So I'm going to go in and do a second coat. Okay, so this is after two coats. As you can see, the lashes do look a lot fuller and just the overall appearance has a lot more volume and definitely has a lot more length. So now I'm going to go in with the final coat and see what that looks like. Okay, so this is after three coats. As you can see, crazy difference from my left eye. This one has a lot more volume, a lot more length, and I didn't notice any kind of clumping. I don't believe that they look spidery at all because trust me, I have tried my fair share of mascaras and some of them really make your lashes clump up and that's how you get the volume is out of the clumpiness. But this one, I don't believe did that whatsoever. So now I'm gonna go ahead and then just finish off this eye. I just wanted you guys to see the difference between not having anything on and then having something on. Okay, so these are my lashes with three coats. 
and I absolutely love this mascara formula. It smells amazing. It absolutely does what it says that it's going to do, which is to add volume and add length with just the three coats. I know three coats sounds a bit excessive, but the amount that goes on after one application isn't too much. And so by the time you get to the third coat, it's not clumpy. The mascara doesn't clump, or at least it didn't for me. It doesn't make your lashes stick together so that they look kind of spidery. It definitely doesn't do that either. I love the wand. At first, I was kind of skeptical as to whether or not it really was going to work with the different size fibers or with the different size bristles. Um, I didn't think that it was really going to make a difference, but it absolutely does. It made it to where I didn't have any issues having to get every single lash. I usually have issues having to get these inner lashes here on the top. They're really small and they're kind of different sizes. <laughs> but with this wand, I was able to get them. It wasn't a big deal at all because it does have the little bristles on the tip of it. So I was able to kind of just turn the wand a little bit and then just get in there. And it was just Perfect. I will update you all in a future video about the formula and whether or not it did help, you know, strengthen, nourish, nourish and grow because obviously I can't do that based off of just the one day. So I am going to continue to wear this and I'm going to try to wear this on a regular basis since I feel like I might get the most out of it that way um, so that I can see a difference. And yeah, update you guys on a future video. So that is it for my first ever review. I really hope that you all enjoyed it. Please let me know down in the comment section what you would want me to review next. I loved doing this, absolutely loved doing this for you all, reading up on it, researching, putting it to the test, seeing whether or not it works. I absolutely loved it. So I would love your suggestions as far as what you would want me to review next. Thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to click the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more weekly beauty videos. As always, take care and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye.